What's up guys, this is OG King 13 I uh, just wanted to make a quick, stupid ass little video. Um, I've been researching into Spellgrounds, and uh, I used to have one maybe like two or three years ago, but I sold it because who the fuck needs a mat that's that expensive? Um, so I sold it. And uh, I've been looking into what kind of fabric Spellgrounds are made out of. Um, to see if I can potentially make my own and um, researching on like reddits and other blog posts and stuff like that um, couldn't really get a definitive answer but um, I was at my local Hobby Lobby and I found um, this material so this is the back um, as you can tell the uh, stitch count not that close together on the back um, so you know obviously it's not a high quality as spell ground um, and the feeling of it you could tell that you know it's not the same quality as spell ground um, it does feel nice and soft um, not as fuzzy as a spell ground and you know if you move your hand it's gonna uh, make these darker lines and if you you know go back it's gonna go back um, but it is a soft quality mat so um, you know here's just a couple cards the uh, graveyard slide is is in full effect here. Um, it's a soft mat. Um, the best part about this is um, the fabric that I got, the cut that I got, it was like $4, maybe $5 at Hobby Lobby. So this is the material right here. Midnight Venice Home Decor, um, 12 59 um, for a square yard, I believe. So um, the piece I got was a third of a yard. Um, I got mine cut to 14 by 24. Um, the cut wasn't great. Uh, I had to do a lot of um, cutting uh, to make it the perfect size. Um, I made it the exact same size as a mat. I even rounded the corners as you can see here. So I got a mat underneath. It's the exact same size. So um, I got a single player mat because why would you want to fold over this nice material for a two player? I never understood that, but I made a single player mat. So this is um, about 14 by 24. If you want a single player mat of your own, I would recommend getting a cut of um, probably 15 by 25 and then just cutting around the edges. Um, to prevent fraying, I took some glue and I just glued the back you know just all the way around um you know i'm sure it's still probably gonna fray you know i spent five bucks for this fabric so it's not gonna last forever um but this is a simple fix uh obviously sorry um obviously you know it's a plain mat um you could paint on it sharpie does bleed through so i wouldn't recommend putting sharpie on it but for now i i like that it's just a plain mat um uh, obviously it's not a spell ground so I don't want to paint it like a spell ground but um, acrylic paint does work it doesn't flake off um, or at least it doesn't yet um, I used acrylic white paint downstairs on like a shitty piece of one so maybe I'll add something to a corner but uh, I just wanted to put that out there again guys just one more time uh, midnight Venice home decor fabric at uh, your local Hobby Lobby okay so uh, yeah just wanted to uh, throw that out there. Again, slides real nice. Um, and this basically took me about an hour of work and cost me about five bucks. So let me know what you guys think if you grab it yourselves. And uh, peace.